rich can be poor tomorrow. The poor can be rich tomorrow. Oh, we don't know what becomes tomorrow. Tomorrow, the rich can be poor tomorrow, the poor can be rich tomorrow. Oh, we don't know what becomes tomorrow. Enemies can be friends tomorrow, rivals and lies tomorrow. Once again, I uh, accept our sincere condolences on behalf of the entire company. Sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. As well, you're welcome. Well, everything is fine, except for the Rockview contract. They have refused to award the contract to us. Why? They insist it has to be you. Okay, not to worry. Oh yes, sir. Actually, Mr. Bayomi submitted his resignation letter yesterday morning. What is his reason? Well, he's relocating back to Sweden. Apparently, he got a better offer to work in a company overseas. Oh, good for him. So uh, that means we need a new marketing supervisor. Exactly, sir. But the situation, man. Do you have anyone in mind, or should I call out for an interview? Come on, Cynthia. You know my colleagues. So. We push up an already existing worker up the ladder and we only fill the lowest position. You know? But, the book, are you handled it, okay? Yes, sir. Um, I want you to take care of the office for the next one hour. Okay. Okay. Um, my wife is really hit with our loss and she's really devastated and I need to be there for her. So of, course. of course. Of course, sir. And what about you, sir? Who is going to help you here? Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Just uh, look after the business with me and do not hesitate to call me when the need arises. Agnes. 
It's almost two weeks and you're still like this. You have refused to leave this room and you've barely eaten anything. Yes, I know this is hard for you. It is hard for all of us, especially your husband. Being like this will not help any of us, not even you. Babe, please. Please just put yourself together and move on. I beg. Move on. To where? To whom? Two children. Two taken away from me before they could even recognize me. And you ask me to move on? To where? To whom? To whom exactly? To where? Where do you want me to move on to? Where? Where do you want me to move on to? Look at I understand no, how you don't. Deep. You don't. You don't. Nobody does, and nobody will. Nobody. Please, don't. Please, 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 Benita, please. I want to be left alone. Please, please. Hey, baby. You okay? trying to play with my wife. Well, you can see that I'm not in the mood to play. You should not be in the mood for a baby at all. That's because I, I don't want to waste my time. What do you mean by waste your time? Benson, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You look like a total mess, my friend. Oh, I know. Um, 
uh, what do you expect? <sighs> I love my wife so much, and you know that uh, seeing her go through a lot of pain and emotional um, trauma makes me very sad. She still isn't over with the death of your last child. Oh, it's more than a year right now. Isn't the morning too long? Not for my wife. She's facing a trauma as if it just happened yesterday. That is not heavy. That's exactly what I'm trying to make out. But for the 11 years that I've known her, this is the first time she didn't listen to me. Can you believe my wife and I have not made out for over a year? What? Wait, are you for real? How then is she supposed to get a child if she would not let you do it? I have no idea. You need to talk to her. You need a child, baby. Your business has been generational. She would not let that die with you, would you? Of course not. Good. Make her understand. Or you do it the African way. Which is? Take a second wife. Chidi, I have said it before. I'd rather be childless than watch my wife go through the trauma of watching me sleep with another one. <laughs> and your family legacy? Hmm? I just, I just wait for him. Let's go and sleep. You're dozing off. Let's go and sleep. I'm not. I'm watching the TV. You're watching which TV? You're dozing off. You said you're watching TV. Please let's go and sleep. You're watching one of the mm -mm, mm -mm, Please. Please stop now. I'll wait for my husband. Whenever he comes, we go upstairs together and sleep. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. I am good. Have a good night.
doing? Just want to touch you a little. Come now. Stop! Listen. You know I like you. And Stop! Do you realize I'm your wife's best friend? What? what? I just want to no, touch you. Stop really. it! from Benita's room? Um, actually, I I came in a while ago and then I found her in the living room. She was shivering. So I helped her to her room. I think she has a cold. Benita is just so stubborn. She leaves the AC on even when she's freezing. Let me just go check on her. Very hot. so weird. <laughs> Come on, I'm fine. I was just working on a lot of things, so I decided to just stay in the for a while. 
Okay, what are you working on? I'll be moving out tomorrow morning. No I'm way. I'm going to worry. What is what is happening in, in Oweri? I just got a job. <laughs> oh my god! Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> what kind of job? Um, a friend of mine just opened the hotel, so he said I should come and help him manage. So I think I should take it. What do you think? Oh what yes, you, you should take it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Anytime. So so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> don't, don't follow me, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, baby. I'll miss you. And thank you very much for having me. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Why are you thanking me? What are friends for? I should be the one thanking you. You've been a huge support system to me. I don't know how I would have been able to cope all this well without you. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Benson is currently not around. He oh, okay. traveled to Abuja for some official duties. Okay. So when he returns, I would inform him. All right. <laughs> Girl, I know you've been praying for something to do and then this. <laughs> Don't do that. That face. No, 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 no. You know if you do that face, you will make me stay back. And I have to go. I know. I'm going to miss you. I know. But I have to go. I have to work, right? Yes, you have to. And we have been waiting for this work for like forever. <laughs> I will. As always. The rich can be poor tomorrow. The poor can be rich tomorrow. Oh, we don't know what becomes tomorrow. Enemies can be friends tomorrow. Rivals and lies tomorrow. Hey, what up? <laughs> um, are you serious? Whatever the reason was, I think it's for good. Huh? But you said it wasn't a rape. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Bensi. Look, don't beat yourself too hard, okay? She would have screamed if she didn't want it. So come on, relax. Get off this thing that she has done and move on. Huh? Uh, come on, I will, I will talk to you. I'll meet you at the bar. I have absolutely no idea. What do you mean by you have absolutely no idea? <sighs> How did you try getting her bedroom? As I got back, I found the child in front of our gate. 
just like that. The child just appeared in front of our gate. What kind of question is that? I just told you that I found the child in front of our gate. How would I be lying? Oh, you don't believe me? Okay, Samuel! Samuel, Samuel, when we got to the gate, what did you find? Yeah, um, we saw a little baby at the gate. You know what, um, Samuel, um, I'm going to bring the baby, you take the baby back, okay? Sir? I'm going to bring the baby, you take the baby back. the baby back. Um, I'm sorry for doubting you. You know, I've been, I've been through a lot lately. You can't blame me. We have been through a lot. I mean this, am I not? I'm sorry for doubting you. Um, I'm, I'm just going to go back and be with the child and make arrangements for baby things. It's okay. Yes, then this is the the Hennessy BS okay. and this is the DSOP. That's the SOP. around of being here and there. Mm. How are you? I'm good. Last I heard mm. you're supposed to be good. Well, I was, but I just came for an appointment. I'll be going back in two days' time. Mm. Yes. You didn't even <laughs> care to see your friend. Oh, I have a very tight schedule, so... Mm. <laughs> even when she not have a room. She does? Mm-hmm. I'm not aware. <laughs> I guess you didn't just. You also cut off a tab. No, not. Come on, come on. Exactly. Sorry, you know. Huh? <sighs> um, Chidi, I have to run along. Um, it was nice seeing you again. Same here. Um, sorry, I'll come back to get my things, okay? Oh, I'm okay, so sorry. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Bro, Agnes has been totally different since we found that baby girl. <laughs> uh, uh, good or bad different? Oh? What are you talking about? What do you mean bad? Good. Good, 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 different. I mean, she's now friendly. She smiles a lot. 
you know, she, she, she's cheerful and most importantly, she doesn't push me away. Of course she does. <laughs> she has a child now. Mm -hmm. uh, look, she was only frustrated, as they say, mm -hmm. the presence of a child lightens the whole up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sophie has indeed lit up my home. Mm, you named her already. <laughs> my wife named her. Mm. <laughs> nice name. Now, I'm glad you are happy again. Mm, me too. Guess who I saw two days ago? Uh, I don't know. Just tell me. Benita. <laughs> Benita? Mm -hmm. Um, she came back to town or what? Sir, she came to town for some business appointment, but I could tell she was lying. Um, well, it's, it's in the past now. Mm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in the past. Sophie didn't say anything about you both returning together. <clears throat> my dad wanted me to spend an extra one year, but I had to come back with him. The young man couldn't uh, keep his eyes off his girl. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome home, my darling. Thank you, mommy. I missed you so much. I miss you too. Uh, the house hasn't changed at all. It's still the same way I left it like 11 years ago. Yes, that's because your father is very good at <laughs> anyway, um, let us um, welcome the latest person to have a master's in mass communications. Let's do that. <laughs> That's my daughter. Yeah, That's my daughter. You. That's you, my girl. <laughs> you know what? Enough of the chit chat. Let's head to the dining and have something nice. Mm. Rita made your favorite. Oh my oh god, my I'm god. so hungry. I can't wait to eat that. I'm so sorry, Mark. I would have to pass. Why? Anyway, uh, Chike will drop you. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 I got it from him. Uh -huh. Oh, are you, are you guys calling me short? No, 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 no. I'm short now. No, no. Mama, I'm sorry I came back late. We had a lot of customers in the boutique. I got your medicine. Where did you get money to buy drinks? I know your salary is not due to the end of the month. I took an advance on my salary. We agreed that money will be used to calm down the landlord. Yeah. Mama, she now would be alive, the parents. Yeah. So, yeah. Let me go and get you something to eat, okay? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Rita! Rita! Yes, ma. Come. Where's the food I asked you to prepare for me? It will be ready in five minutes, ma. In five minutes, you say? Yes, ma. So I should wait for five minutes before I eat? Sorry. Are you stupid? What is wrong with you? Will you go and get me food? How long will it take to get me food? What's have I done to you? Go get me food, you stupid woman! Imagine the rubbish. Hurry, please. Stupid thing. I should wait before I eat. Can you imagine the rubbish? Oh, you I'll soon stack you in the south. Nobody knows tomorrow. The rich can be poor tomorrow. The poor can be rich tomorrow. Oh. oh, oh. 
over we don't know what becomes tomorrow enemies can be friends tomorrow rivals and lies tomorrow Who we have here? <laughs> How are you, Roy? Yeah, and your father. All right. And your mom? Oh, she's fine. She says her regards. Mm. That's good. Uh, baby, yeah. we are off to one of your father's numerous dinners. Mm -hmm. We won't be home until late, okay? So oh, take okay. care of the house and take care of yourself. Okay, mom. You look stunning, oh. by the way. I do! Yeah. <laughs> of course. My woman always looks stunning. She's okay. spending my money. Oh, please. Let me get going before I blush up my makeup. <laughs> okay, bye. Have All right, right darling. Take bye. care of the house. Okay, see you guys later. All right, baby. All bye, right, mommy. Right. Bye, yeah, sir. Bye. Take care, guys. Sorry about that, babe. I had to use the restroom. Alright, sure. You good, yeah? Yeah. Alright. Showing yourself with a movie? Yeah, yeah, sure. Crazy. Hello. 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 such a stupid person to walk here. Sorry for your gutter smelling self. Will you get out of my presence? Get out! I'm so sorry. Can I do a transfer? I left my card at home. Okay, you can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh my god. Hold up. I think my network is very bad. Can I pay for this stuff tomorrow? We don't do that here, sir. Okay, um. Can I just take the girl around to them? Um, that would cost like 15k. Oh, Alright, I'll pay it in the morning, please. Mm. We don't do that here, sir. Uh, so what do I do? On one condition. What's that? You have to drop your office address and your social media handles. Uh, for what now? So I can call you out in case you refuse to make the transfers and the address you give to me, I take. Okay, fine. I've been managing, you know, I've been rosy out there. Uh, huh? <sighs> Let me see. Well, I work as a receptionist. Had a law firm. That's not so bad. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Wait until you hear the pay. Okay, so much. <laughs> so what do I offer you? Mm, I'm hungry. Oh. Change at all, yeah, of course I won't. That's why I'm big. I'm growing big <laughs> every day. Oh my god! <laughs> mm. I pray this tastes nice because it's really looking appetizing. For her sake, you better taste it. Mm. What is it? Salt, salt. What? It's so salty. <sighs> Rita! Rita!
here. Sophie asked me to kneel down here. Sophie? Yes, sir. Why did she ask you to kneel down? That the lunch I served there was salty. Hey, is that is that all you did? Yes, ma'am. How can she ask her to kneel down here under the sun? Someone who is clearly older than her. You know what? Get up. Thank you, sir. Stand up when you're standing my punishment. I asked her to stand up. Why, Dad? Oh, shut up. Good day, sir. Why would you ask her to kneel under the sun? Because she doesn't know how to cook. More reason you should have cooked it yourself. Isn't that why we pay her? Why I pay her, you mean? Mason, please calm down. Please. Now listen to me. Let this be the last time you will disrespect any of my staff. Is that clear? Is that clear? Um, Rita. Sir. I'm sorry for my daughter's pain. That's okay. Thank you, sir. How are you? Thank you. Are you? Are you? Doing? Yeah, but we are now. How are you doing? I'm fine. I wanted to see you. Really? Yes. Important. Very important. Sir. Very. Very. Um, when I get back, we'll see. Yeah, okay. Okay. It's a matter of happens. Really? Yes. No. Why are you talking to him? Uh, Sophie, why are you talking Sophie. to my man? Uh, excuse Sophie. me. I'm what is wrong with you? Why are you speaking to my man? Sophie, come. How dare you? How dare you talk to my man? Are you stupid? Will you get out? How dare you? Sorry. Will you get out of here? Sorry. Don't touch her. Get sorry. out of here. Um, you are still here. Oh. So, Stop that! What is all? Look at that thing! Is that what you do when I'm not around? Next time you see him, don't you ever speak to him! Get out! I can't get out! You're still talking! You want another slap? Can you imagine you drop it? So this is what you do now? So, Just look at that, that thing! Really, Roy? Are you serious? What? You said you slap anybody with disrespect. But I want you to understand the meaning of disrespect. Are you now questioning my understanding of English? <sighs> Come on now, that's not what I said. All right, slapping anybody who disrespects you doesn't sound right to me. Babe, that is your opinion, and it really doesn't count to me. I won't take any form of disrespect from anyone, okay? All right, so I was just thinking about. Thank you for lunch, baby. Let me know where you close from work. Bye. All right, bye. Sophie, we need to hurry so I can return early. You know I'm going to work in the morning. Okay, come on. Don't rush. You can always go to work whenever you want. I wish! But I don't have that luxury. Remember, my father is not engineer, Benson. Now you're being sarcastic. We don't know if this comes tomorrow. Enemies can be friends tomorrow. Rivals and lies tomorrow. If you're
and the DPO. What? Fight? Are you alright? Are you alright? Is that the question you should be asking her? I've told you that you indulge this girl too much. Let's just hope you won't drive her to her ruins. God forbid. Nothing bad will happen to my, my daughter. And you? You barely came back a month ago and you're already a familiar face with the police. Oh, the police is now your friend, right? Now listen to me and listen good. I bailed you out this time. Next time, I will not associate myself with a tout. Mom, are you sure it's my dad? Because the way he's crying for and everything, I didn't come in and rotate him. Will you, will you shut up, my vibe, vibe, come, 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 come down there to slap you? One more word from you and I will have you thrown back in the cell. What is wrong with you? And you, you were there. You were right there when she was constituting nuisance at a bar and you could not stop her. Ma, I did. I, I tried. Mom, it's a club, not a bar. Club kill you there. See the way you're even saying it boldly. Club kill you there. Stupid girl. Oh, you, 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 you think I'm going to side you? It's not me and your father that you're going to disgrace. It's yourself you disgrace. Why is everyone angry now? Hey, I don't know. Maybe they called and interrupted them. What call? Never mind. I should be going home. Can't stop yourself. Whatever. Bye. Why are you shaking? Mama, what's wrong with you? I'm very weak. Have you been skipping? I can barely breathe. Have you been skipping your medication? Your body is hot. Mama. Yeah, hello. Good morning, Ma. I'm calling, I'm calling to tell you I'll be coming late to work today. My mom is very sick and I have to take her to the hospital. Yes. I am so sorry, Ma. Okay, Ma. Thank you. Ah, oh, Ma. We yeah. are. Stand up, let's go to the hospital, please. Thank you. Okay, let me take her inside. Right, sure. Okay. Thank you so right. much, my dear. God right. bless you. No. You're really looking better. Thank you so much. <clears throat> You're welcome. You know what? Call me in case anything happens, all right? Okay. I'll take your medications correctly. Yeah, I will. Good. You know what? I need to rush back to the hospital now before my dad looks for me. I thought you said nobody can scold you. <clears throat> my dad, that man is a disciplinarian. 
I don't want to query. Okay. All right, I'll see you later. Eh? All right, along then. All right, take care. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow, the rich can be poor tomorrow. Who is she? The lady that you drove out with. It's just a patient that needed help. Oh, so now you've added taxi driving to your portfolio, right? So what exactly is your problem? Tell me. The problem here is that I woke up very early to make my man's favorite breakfast, only for me to get to your office, and I'm told you drove out with a lady. A girl and her mother. Do I look like I care? Do I? So if just stop shouting, this is my office area. Stop constituting nuisance here. Oh, so now I'm constituting nuisance, right? I'll show you what nuisance. What makes you think you can f that lady? Stop sure, what is wrong with you? Stop it. What would you go with? Stop! Excuse me. I brought you out here because I do not want to embarrass you in front of your colleagues. But this would be my first and my last warning to you. Stay away from Roy. Stay away from my man. He is mine and I do not share. So stay far away from him because if not, the next time you see me, look at this face. The next time you see this face, I won't be this nice. Rubbish. Oh, come on, babe. We aren't leaving without dropping a message for her. <gasps> oh, oh my God. You slapped me. One more word from you. I will slap you. Over and over again. Yeah. Oh my god! Zimmy or Zara just ending my calls. The phone is switched off now. an explanation to which cause I take and which I choose to not take. So I don't understand what you're saying. Sorry, stay away from me. Leave my house and never come back. My only concern right now is taking care of my mom's girl. I don't want to be fighting over a man with any woman. What, what do you mean, Zara? Your woman? She came to my office two days ago. I'm trying to deal with me if I don't need to be alone. A friend has just slapped me. A friend? What? Slapped me. Wait, what woman are you talking about? She's fair and tall. Sophia, Mimi. Oh, all of a sudden you know them. Do you understand? I'm sorry, Mama, but you don't know what I do not ask you. All I'm saying is, don't you ever talk to anybody like that again. I did not raise a doubt. Everything is fine. Please, is Sophia around? Yes, she is. Are you sure everything is fine? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'll just go get her. Wait a minute.
So what is wrong with you? How dare you? How dare you trust that innocent girl? Is she innocent? She just go have lunch with my man and you call her innocent. Sophie, I asked her to join me. Then she should learn how to say no. What has come over you, Sophie? Since you got back to the country, you've been behaving somehow. What's wrong with you? And you? Why would you ask another lady out on a lunch date? You even disrespect me to the point that you have to go pick her up yourself. Listen to me. You are mine and no one else's. And you see that I can't front it? It's for I and I alone. Any other lady that dares to sit here is acting for my wrath. Are you just listening to yourself, Sophie? Are you even making sense? Listen, I'm not here to banter what with you. See this thing that just happened should never happen again. Alright, if you have a problem, talk to me. I am your boyfriend, I am the one you are dating. Alright? He's your boyfriend. And it is only his attitude that should be questioned and not of those around him. It's obvious that the girl in question is not forcing herself on him. Mom, I don't care. Roy is my man and no lady should go close to him. Oh. And what if it's your man that is going close to the lady in question? Have you asked yourself that? I told us much. Baby. Look at me. Talk to Roy. What is going on between him and the girl in question? Just speak to him. Okay? Okay. That's for Zara. The next time you lay your filthy hands on her, you have me to contend with. Don't say I didn't warn you. Uh, 
you not see willing to talk to me, yeah? Do I look like I want to talk to you? Please leave me alone. I mean, that's fine. I'm willing to stay here till you're ready to talk to me. I'm not going to talk to you. <clears throat> So you can talk to me, Zara. They just leave me alone. Zara. Yes? I'm not saying you think this is good. You think this is good. But this guy just wants to talk to you now. And you know, say if Madame meet her for counter now, she go change her for you. Eh? Just go and talk to him. I will cover for you. Are you sure? They go. Hey, Zara. I sincerely want to apologize for what Sophie did. She has no right to go after you like that in the office. Please. Trust me, I've given her tips about women, and it will never happen again. Alright? Okay. This is for disrespecting Sophia. Sophia, the daughter of Engineer Betty, does not take nonsense. Stay away from her man. Get out of my house! I should leave your house. Get now. out! Really? I should leave your house. So what's wrong with you? I just want to talk to you, Zara. Do I look like I want to talk Zara, to you? Zara, talk to me! What's going I on? I want to talk to you! I mean, I can't just leave like that. Talk to me, what's going on? I have to know. Zara! Mama! Mama, please stay out of this! You don't know what this boy just made me lose! What did you lose? Mama! I just lost my job. Is that my fault? You lost your job, is that my fault? Thanks to your almighty girlfriend. Apparently, she knows my madam. My madam and her mommy are friends. And it is her mom that gave my madam money to start the business. Okay, so where are you getting out? She told her to fire me. Okay, come on, that's not true. Like Sophie, hell it is. Sophie will not do that. I saw her walking out of my office this morning. And on getting to the office, my madam gave me a sack letter. Please, are you being serious? Like hell it is! Are you for real? Yes! How dare you? You see, you think I'm a complete country? Hey! You? How dare you assault my daughter in my own house? You know how this girl has assaulted the past couple of days, including me and your staff. As if that was not enough, you went to instigate Zara without me to suck in her. Eh? What kind of person are you? And who is Sarah? The stupid girl that he's cheating on me with. Look, listen, I'm not cheating on you. I am not. And you see this thing we have? I end it right now. If this thing is over, read my lips, Sophie. It's over. Break it up with you. Boy? 
And what are you doing here? I am here to resign your face so that when my friend's boyfriend sees you, he wouldn't recognize you. Don't touch my daughter. <gasps> Mama! Please, what, what has she done to you? Thank your God that your mother is here to save you. Else, you, you will be proud of your stupidity. You can't do, you can't do nothing. Make sure you want to be stupid. You want to be stupid. You want to find me now. Mama! What is this? Just because of this noise. What kind of money? I don't know. keep these children. I'll take them to their father. After all, he needs children. Benita, do you know what this will do to your relationship with Agnes? What do you want me to do? Eh? Jerry has already promised me marriage and I don't want anything to jeopardize that. Moreover, she won't even know the children are from me. I'll just drop them in front of their house. Hopefully, one of them will come out and see the children there. And see, I can't keep these children, no. I can't. Give me one. Please. You already know my health condition. I can't have my own child. Leave one of the children with me. I you know... I have nothing compared to Agnes and her husband. But I promise you, she will never lack. Please. to think of it, 
Are you sure you won't change your mind and stay behind to take care of her yourself? Auntie, I can't. She's better off with you. Auntie, take good care of her for me. And also take care of yourself. Okay? You have been a wonderful sister to me. And I appreciate everything you have been doing for me. Thank you very much. And stop saying this, I'll miss you, I'll miss you, I'll miss you. Hmm? <laughs> Auntie, let me be like this, okay? Let me be like this. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bonita. Mom. Mom. This isn't true, right? Don't touch me. Bonita, why, why are you here? Why are you really here? You know the lives. You're going to destroy by being here. Do you know the damage you're going to cause by being here? Why? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My marriage between Jerry didn't work out. I got a complication during my first pregnancy for him. The doctor told him that I've already had children. I ended up opening up. And then he filed for a divorce. Honestly, I didn't want to come back out of shame, but I, mean, I just want to see my children. I'm sorry I came back. Honestly, I didn't want to come out of shame, but I just had to come now because I want to see my children. Hey girl, I sincerely want to apologize for what Sophie did. She has no right to collapse like that in the office. Trust me, I've given you a tip about all this. It will never happen again. Alright? Okay. This is for disrespecting Sophia. Sophia, the daughter of Engineer Benton, does not take nonsense. Stay away from her mask. Let's check the last one in the <laughs> At the salon, I overheard that Engineer Benson's daughter sent the girl that slapped her. I became curious. I wanted to meet my children. 
especially the one that lived with Engineer Benson, because I was very sure that you were taking good care of the one that lives with you. Only for me to get here and I found out that the one that was slapped is also my daughter. One of my twins. I am not your daughter. I will never be your daughter. I have only one parent and there she is. If you want a child so badly, go claim Sophia. You will never be my mother. Why did you return? Tizini, I did not come to take her away from you. I simply wanted to meet my children and also let her know who her real father is. I'm not here to take her from you at all. Please. My dear, you know that I love you more than anything in this world. No matter what you must have had today, you will still remain my only child and my sweet girl. Nothing can ever change that. However, your mother is right. She is not my mother. Okay. Benita is right. It's high time you knew your father, for your father to know you as well. <laughs> and this will end the animosity between you and your sister. She is not my sister! She can never be my sister. My dear. You know I love you, right? And I can never mislead you, right? Okay. You go and meet your father and your sister. Remember what I've always told you. Life is short to make enemies. You have to forgive as much as possible. Because you never know when it's your turn to face judgment day. <laughs> Mr. Benson is a good man. The reason he hasn't given you the word is because he never knew of your existence. And maybe the good Lord wants to use you to change your sister because of her uncontrollable temper. The next time you see her, we'll be in jail. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. No, I'm not joking. It's not a laughing matter. <laughs> Go, my dear. Go and see your father and your sister. Okay? No matter what happens, I am your mother. I will always be here. Okay? Okay. All right? It's all right. Listen, I'm sorry. Okay, but what do you want me to do? I have fallen helplessly in love with you, Zara. I know this might sound very sudden, but Zara, right from before they met you, I legit fell in love with you, Zara. Listen, listen. As for Sophie, she's not going to bother us anymore because I've officially broken up with her. Things are more complicated now, bro. Hey, Zara, listen. Nothing is complicated. All right, I'm here for you, and I'm not leaving anytime soon. Alright, I'm not leaving you, Zara. Roy. 
Sophia is my twin sister. Benita! Yeah, where have you been? Come here. I missed you. Come inside. Tricking boyfriends Nash are doing in my house. Sophie, what are you talking about? Mom, this is the girl that they're trying to steal Roy from me. Yes, that's she. That is not true. Please. So you mean to tell me that this thing right here is my sister? Agnes, I know this revelation hurts. It really does. But your friend here regrets all her actions ever before it's happened. Which is the main reason why she left in the first place. Please. Honestly, I'm sorry. Honestly, I'm very, very sorry. It wasn't intentional. Look, I am never sharing anything in my life with this idiot here. What rubbish is this? I was afraid of losing you. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I am fine. Um, where's your mother? She went out with Benita. Okay. Um, Zara. Sir. I know I have not been a father to you all your life. You had no idea I existed. But still, I feel highly irresponsible. I hold nothing against you. I want to apologize for your sister, Sophie. 
As you already know, she didn't know um, both of you were sisters. That's not an excuse for her behavior. Also, Sophie treated me, I can't even treat an enemy like that. I agree. And that's why I'm apologizing on behalf of her. Sophie wasn't always like this until two few months ago when she got back from the States. Um, and that's why I'm, and that's why I'm apologizing on her behalf. Sophie wasn't always like this. And if what I hear about you is true, then I think that she needs you more than I do. Zara, Zara. you could be the help that she needs. And lastly, I want you to stay for a few days. I want us to get acquainted. Or better still, you can come live with us. Rita, hope you're fine. I'm fine, ma. Thank you. Don't call me madam. We don't call any member of this family Well, there is always a beginning. You can start with me. <laughs> okay, ma. Thank you. You're still saying, ma. I said Zara. My name is Zara. Okay, you're welcome. Zara, you live here now. So it seems. She's crazy. Mr. Benson's daughter. Mm. Sophia's twin sister. As you can see. Crazy. So why is she treating you? She has been in her room since my mom left. You should be very careful. Sophia can be very unpredictable. I can handle myself. How about us, Zara? There is no us. You belong to Sophia, and that's it. Listen, Sophia and I share a very, very complicated relationship. Like, we're just together because of our family's relationship. That's it. That doesn't change the fact that she's my sister, and I would not want to be caught in this web with her. Come on, Zara. Listen, I, I won't, okay? Trust me, I won't stop coming at you. Roy, please, you have to respect my decisions. Please. This one shocked me, oh. but I don't know the one that shocked me most. Whether the fact that Agnes is not your mom, or the one that that stupid boyfriend snatcher is your twin sister. Sha, miracle, shall know the tired Jesus. Huh? If you ask me. Now who I will ask? Which one are you promising about? I saw the thing shot me rich be that now. Eh? A girl we contemplated betting with asset, your twin sister. Huh. But wait, let me ask you this question. What if we've done that before finding out? What would you do? What? Are you sending me away? You see, this is why I like you. So I should go. Okay, let me have my drink first. Mm. Mm. So I should go. Be serious, so. I miss you, Mom. I 
So far, so good. It's been fine, but I don't think coming to stay here was the right decision. Well, I think I like that already. Except for Sophia, I don't know where she got her temper from. Mom! Don't say, don't say a thing like that, please. I can't be like that. Zara, dinner is served. And the guy said you come to the table. Oh, okay. Mom. I got to go. I'll call you back tomorrow. I lost my appetite. Zara, why are you not taking my calls? Because I feel it is wrong. Wrong? Talking to me now is wrong. Is it because you're Mr. Besson's daughter? That's not it, Roy. And you know it. Things are different now that I found out Sophia is my sister. Listen, I broke up with Sophia. The moment I found out that she attacked you. But see, listen, at this point, I don't care what people say anymore. I just want to be with you, Zara. Roy, Sophie loves you way more than you think. Zara, I love you way more than you think. I guess this isn't working. Listen, I might have had my problems with Sophia in the past, but that was before I realized she's my sister. 
I cannot come between my twin and the man she loves. Goodbye, Roy. Along soon. Just. Sophie, you know you know you can talk to me, right? You know you can always confide in me, right? Just open the door and talk to me. Mom, you have to take it easy. You have to take it easy. Sophie! She will come along, trust me. She will. I missed you. Babe, I said I missed you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that all you have to say? What do you want me to say? I miss you too. You know that would be lying. I know how much I hate lying. Why are you being so mean to me? I'm not being mean. I'm just being realistic. Do not anybody to be misled here? Oh, so that's what it is now, right? I want to see you. I need us to talk face to face. I know this is impromptu, but can you come over now? I'll be on my way. Okay. If you do, you might just hit one of your own. If you're living in a glass house, do not throw stones. Don't be aware of how you treat others. Hi Sophie, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You said you wanted to talk. Yes, I did. But first I wanted to look at me. I have. You still don't want me. Well, we've been together for four years. Are you just gonna throw it all away? Listen, Sophia. I'm throwing it for you. For you, Sophia. Listen, if I marry you, I'll be the worst husband on earth. Because my heart beats for another. Is that right? Yes. Roy, you've been together for years before she came. Listen, that doesn't change anything. I love her. You love her more than you love me. Yes, I love her more. In fact, listen, from the last time I saw your point of now, I just see you as my younger sister. Sorry for everything I have done. I thought my action was the proper way to look out for a friend, but it was the other way around. I'm deeply sorry. Please forgive me and forgive my friend. Listen, this apology is not meant for me. If you want true redemption, you should apologize to Zara. If she forgives you, fine, I forgive you. I cross my heart. I will definitely do just that. Do it. Good for you. Thank you. It's fine. Okay, bye. Bye. Right. Yeah, so I think it's always best to have a second degree. You can have one in the US. Really? Oh. That would be very, very good. Yeah. You have a passport? Oh, that's not a problem. You can get one for you. A 10 year passport. Wow. So you go study in the US. Thank, Thank you, dear. Look at Ma. Ma? What happened to Mom? Mom? 
We were just talking about um, if she could go study to get a second degree in the US. Oh, really? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, for a second degree. Okay, I'm interested. Yes, I would like that very Mom. much. Mom. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> I like that very much. Hey, hey, girl. Good morning, mom. How are Good you? Morning, Dad. How are you there? Good How was your night? Good. You look really nice. Good morning, sis. Good morning, twin. How are you doing today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm okay. Who's that? Morning. All right. In life, we don't always get what we need. Roy, I know that we've been together for a long time and we had plans to become an item. But we humans plan and God executes. My sister here deserves all the happiness and peace as well. And it is very obvious that you do not have any feelings for me anymore. But for her. And I know that she likes you too. Sophie, I don't. Sis, don't. Don't lie. Stop it. Roy. Yeah. Sophia, she really loves and cares about you. You're the one I know. And I have told you, there is nothing between us. There can never be. You are my sister's man, and that's fine now. See, you have to understand. Like, we can't have anything in common. We can't. You have to understand. But yet, you're willing to give up your happiness just so I can have him. You met him first. I know. But he loves you now and not me. What matters to me the most is that I now have a sibling who is willing to give up everything just so I can be happy. What more could I ask for if not that? I'm really sorry for the times I wronged you. Don't say that. It's in the past now. All we should be talking about is the future. Come here. <laughs> Sophie. First of all, I want to say I'm sorry for everything we've been through. Trust me, I don't want to come in between two lovely sisters. That is why from this moment forward, we should be friends. Good family friends, just as we've always been. I think that's best for all of us. So Zara, well done, guys. Well done. Well done. Guys, come here. I'm so proud of you. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Now that we're happy, can we have drinks and celebrate? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. yes. Rita! Yes, ma'am. Yes. 
five glasses and a bottle of wine. Okay, ma. Make it snappy. My best wine. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Give me some here. <laughs> Tomorrow, rivals and lies tomorrow. 